Hey, welcome back to Shane's main shop. Today, I'm gonna do some stuff up on the air. So you can see behind me there, I got the ladder up so our nightlight is not coming on. And I, I tested a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna actually test again while I have you here to make sure there's power still going to it. And I actually went up there and covered up the sensor that is on top of that light pole and I never could get the light to come on. So I ordered a new sensor. So I'm gonna show you today how to change the sensor. And basically this is what makes it come on at night when it gets dark out and then shuts back off during the day. Um, the first thing we need to do is uh, test to make sure there is still power coming out here. Cause I don't know if I shut the breaker off last week when I started messing with it. So let's get the tester out and uh, see what we got. All right, so uh, I think, I don't know, last week's video, video four, uh, I put a new battery in my tester here, so this is what you can use it for. As you can see, we do have power, so I want to make sure it's coming through through the box here, because there is a box, but there is power, you can see, uh, and there's an audible sound, so that's working. And I'll put a link in the description for one of these two in case you want to use one. Uh, but let's go up to the top now and see if we have power all up there, which we should, but let's just double check everything as we go. So, yeah, all right, people are going to comment, but yeah, here I go. I am going to climb the ladder with with the phone in my hand. I'm not typically scared of heights, uh, but the older I get, the less I like it. And now, of course, I'm going with one hand. And it's windy out, too. Last week when I was up here, Tracy was holding the bottom of the ladder. The other thing is, I don't want to drop my phone. I told my brother, if I don't come back in an hour to come out and check on it, make sure I'm not laying on the ground. All right, give me a minute to get situated, and then uh, we'll show you what we're testing up there. I'm up on top here, at the top of the pole here. Uh, but what we're looking at is this little sensor right here, which I just showed you uh, one. And, you know, this is the light fix we have. I already put a new bulb in it. So we already did that. And the question now is... Uh, is there power coming up here and is this thing the problem so i got a new one we're just going to do a couple things to test here now try and hold the camera too first we'll test down here the power's come up make sure there's still power up here okay you can see there's still power coming up to here now, the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop this off and see if there is power behind here uh, to remove this sensor you're just going to twist it so I'm just grabbing a hold of it like this. I'm going to turn it and then wiggle it and you can see it pops off just like that. All right, so let's get this one out of the way and then we will get the tester back out. And there should be power at least to one side of these, but I don't know if I can get my tester in there, to be honest with you, enough to see. That could be our problem. Might not have power coming out through the light fixture. So I don't know if I can get my tester down in there deep enough to register, so I'm not going to trust that it's no power there. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to put the new sensor on, cover it to simulate nighttime, and then see if the light comes on. If it don't, then we might have to actually disassemble stuff. I won't be doing that today. Go ahead and put the new control on. I'm doing all this one-handed so I can record this for you. All right, here's the new control here. And we're going to go ahead and go down through like this and then twist on. Okay, hopefully you saw that. So I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, it is working. It immediately came on once I covered it. All right, I accidentally hit the button on my camera here. It's in a bad spot, but uh, I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to basically put my hand over the sensor and then hopefully you'll takes a bit because of the type of ball. So this tells me it was the uh, sensor that went bad on it. Well, that's come up to power. I just got my hand over all I'm doing. You can see. Well, it's come up to full power. You can see. Uh, I'm up in the air a little bit. <laughs> Look around here. Down the driveway. So. Anyway, the light is getting brighter. I don't know how long I gotta keep it covered for it to be fully on because when I let go last time it actually shut right off. We'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna wait a couple more minutes here. I'm gonna shut the camera off and wait and see what happens. All right, it's been a couple minutes. The light's pretty pretty bright. I mean, it's daytime, so it's not gonna show that much. I'm gonna go ahead and uncover this here. And I don't know if it's gonna shut off right away or not. We'll find out. 
and it does it shut shut off right away so anyway yeah so if you have a uh, street light out here that uh, or if your place it's not working I did some troubleshooting last week basically just checking power and I changed the bulb that wasn't it and I narrowed it down to uh, the sensor on top uh, now that just goes to show there was power inside those things my sensor is, is just not thin enough to fit down in there so again be cautious uh, this is just an entertainment video seek a professional to do this type of stuff electrical work because you don't want to get hurt and you don't want to damage something or, or somebody else or yourself so yeah i'm going to get down off this ladder here get in where it's warm and uh yeah we'll see how this looks tonight Thanks for by Shane's new shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.